Hi, my name is Natalie. Um, I'm going to be presenting on the benefits of early pharmacology treatments in children. Um, so this picture represents the benefits of early identification and treatment, um, which allows children with disorders to be given the chance to grow into a functioning adult. So one of the downfalls of not medicating or treating children early on um, is that they can get aggressive and violent. Um, this is due to uh, excessive dopamine and serotonin neurotransmitters within their system, um, which leads to mood swings and makes it hard for them to stabilize their emotions. So in the article, um, Early Intervention in Bipolar Disorders, Opportunities and Pitfalls, um, they state that children who are not medicated early on have a higher chance of comorbidity with um, substance abuse. Um, so they do this in order to alleviate the symptoms they're dealing with um, due to their disorders. So according to the article titled um, Antipsychotic Medication Prescribing Trends in Children and Adolescents, um, second-gen antipsychotics uh, tend to be the more popular and um, effective choice when treating children. Um, this is due to them being dopamine and serotonin antagonists. So um, second generation uh, antipsychotic medications, um, uh, they are dopamine and serotonin antagonists. So that means they um, block the reuptake of those neurotransmitters. Um, this has been shown to reduce aggression and mood swings in children. So according to the article, um, antipsychotic medication prescribing trends in children and adolescents, um, there has been a rise in prescriptions for antipsychotics. Um, this chart also reflects that. Um, that can be a benefit because it makes it more um, affordable for families who can't afford um, the therapy treatments. So according to the article titled Atypical Antipsychotics and Treatment of Children in Adolescents with Pervasive Developmental Disorders, um, second-gen antipsychotics have been proven to lower um, the aggressive and hostility that children go through with this disorder. Um, but they also point out that it's important that these medications are given to children whose cases are severe enough and not just any child that has a developmental disorder of some sort. So according to Thomas Matthews in his lecture, um, Kid and Psychotrophic Medications, um, there are some side effects to the medications. Um, the most common ones are weight gain, um, which can lead to diabetes in the future, and then another one is drowsiness. So despite these side effects, um, studies have shown that these medications do help children um, alleviate their symptoms, um, as well as start to get along closer with their peers as they meet in social settings like school or playgrounds, stuff like that. So second generation antipsychotics um, have been proven to be beneficial to children early on um, when they're given to children whose cases are severe enough to need them.